Hey guys, welcome back to the Studley Vlog. Today we are out in Agora, California at Paramount Ranch. Now this ranch actually burned down during the Woolsey fire, except for the church, which remained in standing, which is pretty cool. I'm out today with my buddy Nick, and we are shooting some five by seven wet plates. Nick was doing a couple test shots to figure out his exposure. Also, is it me or does Nick look like a vampire when he's wearing his dark cloth? It's like straight up vampire. So Nick is picking out which piece of glass that he wants to shoot on. So he picked out a nice piece of some green glass that he had and is wiping down to make sure that there's no residue on the sheet. And so he pours on the collodion which is basically the chemical that goes onto the glass that makes it be sensitive to light. And so he does that and he is basically shaking it to make sure that it evenly smooths out on the piece of glass. And then he places it inside another tank and he lets that sit for another three minutes. So we just hung out and waited. After three minutes, he is able to go in there and, in the dark, load it into a film holder or a plate holder, and then he is able to go shoot it. And since it was so hot out that day, we hurried up to get to it so that it wouldn't dry up. So the sensitivity with wet plate is very low, so the ISO is like crazy low and like the one one ISO or something. So he shot a three second exposure there at I think F11 and now he's processing it. Some of the chemicals didn't get across the full negative of the glass so it wasn't a good print but honestly I think it's pretty cool. Even when there's little mistakes wet plate still ends up looking amazing. Well, it's funky how it turns negative. Yeah. After the image has been in fixer, he then leaves it in a tub of water so that it can chill out and wait until he gets home to scan it. So Nick pulled out a new piece of glass and this time he wanted to make a negative of the shot. So he did it on transparent glass and went through the whole process again. Normally photographs are taken and they're like at one thousandth of a second or like a hundredth of a second so it's super quick but this was a few seconds long it's pretty crazy So you may be wondering, hey, how do I do this? Well, Nick actually hand makes all of his chemicals. So he buys them in like bulk and custom mixes up his own chemicals for all of these different cool processes that he does, which honestly is amazing. And I don't even know how he does it sometimes, but it's also super cool just to see the whole process. So here you can see the fixer that is making the image able to be seen in the light. This shot was taken so it is a glass negative, so it's similar to a normal sheet of film, but on glass. 
I'm also working on a new photo book that'll be coming out pretty soon, so keep an eye out. I have photographs of this ranch that I was at right after the Woolsey fire, which are pretty cool, and you'll see those in the book, so keep an eye out. Nick wanted to take a portrait of me, so he set it up, and this is what the ground glass looks like inside, oh, and that's what I look like outside. He set it up and did this one on a black piece of metal. So this is going to be pretty cool to see. This is a real tin type since it's on metal. And he loads it up and boom, shoots me. And then the magic happens. One of my favorite things about film photography and shooting with different chemicals and stuff is that you can actually see the picture appear which you don't normally see when you have a digital camera or something. It's similar to a Polaroid but like 10 times cooler. <laughs> this portrait turned out amazing. Shout out to Nick. I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the bio. After seeing how cool that portrait turned out, I was like, yo, Nick, let me shoot one of you. So he loaded up another sheet or another piece of metal and we set up to take his portrait. I actually forgot to film me shooting it because I was too busy taking his photo, but here's the plate and this is how it turned out. Nick takes all the sheets that he shot and washes them and then puts on a varnish so that they will last for generations and generations. Thanks for watching the vlog. I'll be putting out some new videos pretty soon. I just upgraded to a new computer, so editing will be a lot faster. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.